Hey everyone, this video is the first of many videos covering the Dive into Python book by Mark Pilgrim. It's a really good book, he did an excellent job, and I'm very excited to share these chapters with you now. It's available online, diveintopython.net, and you can read it online there or you can download and have it accessible offline. Getting right into it, diving into Python if you will. What is it? What is Python? According to the official website, which is python.org, this is an interpreted, object-oriented, high-level programming language with dynamic semantics. It's high-level built-in data structures combined with dynamic typing and dynamic binding make it very attractive for rapid application development as well as for use as a scripting or glue language to connect existing components together. So that's right from the website. It kind of assumes that you know what a lot of those things are. But what it all means is that Python is a programming language that's easy to learn, fast to develop, and widely suited to all kinds of use from building websites with the Django framework or data science with NumPy and Pandas. There's just a really large spectrum of stuff that you can do with it. And the fact that it has a low barrier to entry than most languages is a huge plus. I'd like to start out by saying that the first couple of chapters are mostly related to setup and so might not be relevant to you, particularly if you're on a Mac computer since it already has Python installed. So if that's the case, or if you're otherwise coming to these videos with Python already installed, I'd say feel free to skip you know, the, the, first, the first couple of videos. The, the material kind of picks up a few chapters in. If this is boring to you, <laughs> that's okay you know, give, give a couple more a chance. So Python works in, in most known platforms and programs written in Python can run on all known platforms with little or no tweaking. It's also good to know that you can have more than one version of Python on the same machine without any glitch. So let's, let's go through the major operating systems and how to get Python going on each one of them. So first up is Windows. And Windows doesn't ship with Python out of the box, so you need to install it manually. There's a couple ways of installing Python on Windows, and page 7 of the book guides you through using ActivePython and Python.org. I would also like to mention, if you're learning Python for data science purposes, Anaconda for Windows is worth mentioning and is available at docs.continuum.io slash anaconda slash install. I will have a link in the description for you, of course. Mac operating systems come with Python 2.7 installed by Apple and the IDLE, IDLE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment, for you to use. That's actually what you're seeing right here. If you want the latest version of Python, which at the moment is 3.5, you can get the official package from python.org. I will have a link for that in the description as well. And on Linux, Linux distributions come with pre pre-built binary packages, but if you want the latest Python package, you may need to install it yourself, and you can find those instructions on pages 10 and 11 for various flavors. So the, the interactive shell, which is what you're looking at here on the screen, is a terminal-like Python environment for user interaction. It can execute code on the go and also serves as an interpreter for scripts run from the command line. To launch it, just type Python, like I did here, in the command prompt or terminal, whatever program you use. I'm using iTerm, and I like that a lot as an alternate to the Mac operating system's built-in terminal. You can just type Python, it, has, it starts idle right away, and you can do things like print hello world, or you can say 8 plus 9, and it'll tell you what that is, things like that. That's about all for chapter one. Welcome to Python. 